So, to access the fuel pump in uh, 1990, Chevy C1500. Uh, first thing you need to disconnect the uh, negative side battery post. So, you disconnect these. And next, you need T30 hex to lose this uh, fuel neck. So I have one here, one, two, and three. And this will come off here like that. Next, this uh, this is the driver side. So you have like a ground strap, ground strap here. Will be just close to the fuel neck. So the ground strap will be here on this. So you lose these and you attach the, uh, you remove the ground strap. And you have 18 millimeter there. I already removed it, you have one 18 millimeter. Another 18 millimeter. There, but mine broke. Alright, but you have another one here too. And this the the rear driver side. You disconnect this wire for the license plate uh, lights. Uh, you disconnect these two. These for the tail lights. And you remove this ground wire. I mean, on my truck I have the ground wire. And mine was here on this, on this, on this, on this knot here. So a ground wire and this plug for the tail lights, and another one for the license plate. This. And this will be attached here to the bumper, rear bumper. And the back, uh, next you have 18 millimeter bolt here, all the way to the back. And you have another one there, on top of the hitch. If you have a hard time, you need to remove the hitch to access the other bolt. But for me, the bolts are clean. I already removed this bed before, so it wasn't bad. And you have another. This, uh, the passenger side. So you will have four bolts on each side for uh, for 18 millimeter on the driver side and four on the 
for the, on the driver's side and for 18 on the passenger side and you will have two all the way to the back like one here and another one here and you will have two on the front I'll show you the other two so you need to remove the spare tire so you have more space here and these just behind the, the passenger, passenger side just behind it you will have see this loose you have another bolt here 18 millimeter and another one here just close to the close to the leaf spring and the four bolts on the passenger side you just leave them loose just like that that's maybe I will say a couple turns before they come off. And the driver's side, you remove the bolts out of the way. So I will use uh, a floor jack to lift the bed on the driver's side here. And probably I will use uh, jack stands to support the bed. So here you can use floor jack. I use this uh, bottle jack to uh, lift it up a little bit on top of the spring and on this point here. And then I use the floor jack to lift the bed up and now I have the floor jack supporting it and I have The jack stand, one jack stand here just to be safe. And now you can have access uh, to the fuel pump. So you have one connector there and one ground strap or ground wire here. And you have three lines you need to disconnect there and another tube go all the way to the fuel neck Yeah, I will go ahead and remove these two, the support piece, uh, three bolts. Thirteen millimeter. So you have one here, one here, and one all the way to the bottom. I will go ahead and remove these, just to have more space this way. So we need to disconnect this wire here, this uh, ground wire, and we have one plug here, Just, you just need to be careful uh, not to break it. I mean, this fuel pump looked like been replaced before. 
I'm not that far. And this ground wire is uh, a half inch. This a bit rusty, so later on when you install everything back, you just clean this, uh, make sure you clean this bolt, and you clean this ground wire here. This, this clamp is uh, 516 okay. So I just you disconnect this and you move to the side. I'll use a plier to remove the one on the middle here. Sixteen inch. And this one is uh, three cord. So you make sure it moves easy. This one is the same size too. The one all the way to the Also make sure this is clean. So make sure all the surface is clean. So you make sure you have an o-ring here and make sure the o-ring is in a good condition. I think mine look a bit bad. I'll replace these.
Yeah, you can use some WD-40. Yeah, so it will come easy. Let's come off. Yeah, you make sure you can you can cover these few lines. So you cover these few lines with a rag, something. Yeah, this will be the same size too, so three quarter on this end, on the left end, and 16 inch, uh, size 16. It's not if yours rusty or not coming out easy you may spray it overnight it's it for a day or two and then you can remove it some fuel on these oh. so you make sure you cover it I will uh, cover these two with the cloth Should be good. So I have two, these two lines on one side and these on the other side. And you have another O-ring here. I say probably these two O-rings will be replaced. So now yeah. now everything is just disconnected. So a ground wire here. And you have this plug, three connector plug. And that's it. Next, we'll remove these. Uh, we'll just use a hammer and a screwdriver to remove these.
I cover this line here and spray some spray some WD-40 on it this one is too the punch here. This will work. Some light. So you make sure the use like a punch or a screwdriver to push this all the way. Let me move this as well. So this is like a locker ring and After that, you need, to, you need to have like a drain pan uh, ready in case. all the way. It's like a, and this assembly will come off. So make sure uh, you work slow. And you don't drop any any dirt inside the tank. Well, hopefully, anyway. You just need to be careful, okay? And this fuel pump look like that. Okay. I make sure to clean the surface after you go. Yeah, make sure you have the ring here too, the seal. clean this surface too so you make sure you clean this surface and I have a new gasket and you may clean this contact you can use like a Rub an alcohol maybe and clean it. Or clean mine. And this all assembly. Mm -hmm. 